Hi, my name is Katrina Griffin, and today I'm going to talk about nitrous oxide induced neuro neurological toxicity. Recreational nitrous oxide use is very common. It's taken because it provides a euphoria that lasts a few minutes, and it can also potentiate the effects of other substances. It's the second most popular drug in the UK with 18 to 24 year olds. It's very cheap and easily available. And while the sale of nitrous oxide for recreational use has been illegal since 2016, because it has other uses, for example, in whipped cream, it's still widely available. It goes by a number of other names, most notably NOS, lapping gas, whippets and chargers. In terms of neurological toxicity, patient, patients will present with numbness and weakness. And this is due to either myelopathy or myeloneuronopathy. And the neurological damage seems to be dose dependent. And this is what a uh, cartridge of nitrous oxide looks at in the image on the right. So how does nitrous oxide cause toxic toxicity to the nervous system? And it's also due to its effects on B12. So B12 is required as a cofactor in the reaction and the conversion of tetrahydrofolate um, methyl tetrahydrofolate into tetrahydrofolate, which is required for amino acid production, and also from the conversion of homocysteine into methionine. What nitrous oxide does is it oxidizes B12 and therefore inactivates it. Um, and this therefore stops the conversion of these molecules. I think more people should be aware of this because it may not be volunteered in the history, either because it's maybe very normalised in that patient's uh, friend group to take nitrous oxide or that it's considered a harmless substance. The serum measurement of B12 may be normal or borderline low, and they often don't have the macrocytosis or anemia that you get with other B12 deficiencies. In terms of supporting tests, um, homocysteine levels can be measured and they will be elevated. You can also measure methylmalonic acid levels, which are also ele elevated. Clinical biochemistry departments are very helpful in interpreting these tests and advising on further investigations. Um, for management, stopping the intake of nitrous oxide is the most important. Um, and also the administration of intramuscular hydroxycobalamin replacement one milligram every day until the neurological symptoms are static. The prognosis is variable, but it does appear to be better if this is treated early. Thank you.